how's it going guys rocket back here welcoming back to the channel today is a very special video I'm gonna be giving you my jersey collection so I have many NHL jerseys I got some MLB jerseys football got one basketball as well some of them are obviously like real jerseys some of them are either fake or just like um, cheap jerseys of certain players but some of these are, of course the majority of them are, are real really cool jerseys to have um, some of these are older jerseys, some of these are newer jerseys, so I'm gonna go into by categories. Starting off with my uh, one basketball jersey I have is some of the football jerseys as well. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new. Uh, let me know guys in the comments what jerseys you have, if you have any cool ones, any autograph ones as well. Let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna start it off here. I do have this uh, Kobe Bryant jersey. Uh, LA Lakers, so that's the first jersey I'm going to be showing you guys today. I mean, some of, the, uh, some of these are second hand, some of these are bought off a store, so they come from various different places. Some of these I had in for a while, so I didn't even know, I uh, don't even remember where I bought these from, it would have been uh, years ago. Uh, so, Bryant jersey, that's the one basketball jersey I have, not really one, not a big basketball fan, but uh, that's one jersey I have of it. So a couple of football ones, so I am not a Patriots fan, I am actually a Green Bay Packers fan, I don't even have a Green Bay jersey, this is the Moss jersey uh, from the uh, New England Patriots, so of course like I said I'm not a Patriots fan but just having a Patriots jersey, find it the, uh, pretty cool to have, so that's the Moss jersey, New England Patriots. Here's a Toronto Argonaut jersey of Allen, so I am a Montreal Alouettes fan, I'm not, I don't follow the CFL too much. But I had this uh, Allen jersey of the Toronto Argonaut, so I found it pretty cool. Right here is a, another Patriots jersey of uh, it's a br brushy, brushy. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Uh, so another Patriots jersey here, and last uh, one is a Pittsburgh Steelers jersey, Kirkland number 99. So uh, Steelers, Patriots, uh, Argonauts. None of my favorite teams just yet. I may very well get a Aaron Rodgers jersey in the near future. He's my favorite NFL player. Definitely on my bucket list of jerseys I need to get. All right, guys. MLB now. I do have a few cool ones. So this one here. It's going to close it up so you guys can see the logo. Atlanta Braves. A Chipper Jones jersey. So it's not an authentic official one or anything like that. But it's still pretty cool to have a jersey of the great uh, legend. Chipper Jones just recently inducted in the Hall of Fame. Now this one here, I noticed I got this one, I'm pretty sure it was just second hand. Colorado Rockies, you can see the logo there. If you look at a number, number 28, Nolan Arenado pretty much. A jersey of Arenado, I'm going to say, not his name on it, but his, his number is on it. So I could very well just put Arenado, get it printed at a sports store and there you go. Nolan Arenado is number 28 on a Rockies jersey. Now the next one I have, this is a pretty cool one. So one of the longest names in MLB history of the Red Sox, Nomar Garcia Para. You can see that name, how long that is. It can barely fit. <laughs> I found it pretty cool to have that jersey of uh, such a crazy long name on the back. So this one here, the Cleveland Indians. Got the Indian logo on the side of the sleeve. Indians written on it. No name on it at all right now. Um, I could eventually put a name on it if I would like to. But uh, Cleveland Indians jersey, uh, a few more here. So we have the New York Mets. Uh, it has a number 20 on it. But uh, interestingly, interestingly enough, uh, where I live in Moncton, we have a senior baseball league here. There used to be the Moncton Mets as a team. Uh, they had another city as well, uh, the Hub City Brewers. Basically, they blend, blended together to make one team now, the Moncton Fisher Cats. Uh, but... This could have went towards the Moncton Mets or New York Mets either way. Now it's just for the New York Mets. This one here is uh, one I really like. So no name on it, but there is a number. So the Oakland A's. I love this old school color uh, scheme on it. The uh, bright green and yellow. Uh, number 34. That was for the great Raleigh Fingers. <laughs> that crazy mustache and relief pitcher of the Oakland A's. So I'm pretty sure... It was intended to be Raleigh Fingers jersey uh, when they made it, just no name on it. I could do that. Just said the Arenado jersey, it's his number on the back. Now let's get into my favorite jerseys. I have a lot of these hockey jerseys. Let's go. All right, and as you can see next to me, I've got a big pile. I love hockey jerseys. I collected them since I was a, a little kid. This one here I actually got as a gift 
from one of my coworkers to say Welton jersey from Moncton Wildcats. That was in 2005. So my home team uh, of the Moncton Wildcats, all the players signed on it. Uh, there should be Brad Marchand should be on there. Corey Crawford of the Chicago Blackhawks was part of that team as well. So it's really cool to see those guys uh, playing in my hometown team, the Wildcats, and win a championship. A Montreal Canadiens jersey. It is signed by Georges Larac and Vincent Danfous. I got this second hand. It had the Danfous uh, signature on it already, which is in the, the le top left and underneath. I met Georges Larac when he was doing a book signing for his book that he... Uh, Publish his uh, autobiography, which is really interesting. If you guys like reading, if you like biographies, go and read George Larac's, uh, George Larac's story, how he made it to the NHL. Of course, he was known as one of the toughest fighters in the league. It's really cool. Go give that a read if you like books. Now, this one here I love because the Vancouver Canucks are bringing back the flying skate in black as their third jerseys for this year. This one does have a name on the back. Pavel Bure. One of the greatest Russians to ever play the game, Russian Rocket. So that was a pretty cool one. Can't wait to see the Canucks wear these. I'm sure like Brock Besser is going to look great with that throwback logo. Next up, we have another classic Western Canadian team. The Winnipeg Jets. It does have a patch. It says Winnipeg Jets goals for kids. I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, no name on it. Although the classic look of from when Team Ysolani was part of the team, the original Winnipeg Jets. Pretty cool to have that. I love the new jerseys as well, but just something about having a classic one. It's really old school, really cool. All right, this one here is just pretty much a, a classic, unique jersey. So Hockey Night in Canada, this one here, uh, pretty unique. Doesn't have any name or anything on the back. Just a CBC Sports jersey. Find it pretty unique to have that. Hockey Night in Canada, of course, every Canadian knows that show if you're into hockey. Yeah, pretty cool jersey. And now this one here, just basically a little plain Montreal Canadiens jersey. Nothing too special about it. Pretty much just like a kid size when I had it when I was younger. I uh, think this may be one of my f uh, first jerseys I ever had. I do have a lot of Habs jerseys. I'm a Habs fan, so you're going to see a lot of these in this video. This is a jersey of a former Habs, now retired, Daniel Briel. Uh, so it's not, obviously not like an official jersey. You can see the design is different, but... It's a, a different kind of approach to a Habs jersey. Danny Breer. Now this one here is pretty special. I got this from, uh, I believe it was one of the my mom's friends. Somebody she knew she had this and she had to give it away. Saku Koivu, my favorite player growing up in the NHL. He beat cancer. He was the captain for the Montreal Canadiens. A fantastic player. Always looked up to him. He was a smaller guy, really fast, really skilled. Just love watching Koivu play, so I really like this jersey, even though it's not an official one. So pretty special to me. Now this one here is another, <laughs> another Moncton Wildcat jersey of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. So this one here also has autographs. It has Steve Bernier, Corey Crawford, among others. Um, so players, I met the full team actually when I was younger. Now this one here is just it's actually one of my dad's jerseys. Smaller jersey, but it's a throwback. LA Kings from the days with, uh, of course, Wayne Gretzky, that uh, classic black and white. They do have that color, those colors again today, but I really like to have, uh, see the Kings have that uh, purple and yellow throwback again. Really got to bring that back with the time of Luke Robitaille. Those were sick. This so one here, a OHL jersey. It's got the Oshawa Generals. Uh, no name on it. Got this second hand and it's like it. Pretty cool, pretty uh, clean. Uh, just like a really simple jerseys a lot of lines on it as you can see there's five lines on the sleeves and on the bottom but yeah Oshawa Generals got that only jersey of the OHL I have this one here is a Montreal Canadiens practice jersey as you can see just the basic dark blue with the Montreal Canadiens logo on it nothing too fancy about it just a simple practice jersey but it's pretty cool to have now we get into the more cooler jersey. So this one here, a throwback Calgary Flames jersey. I just love these colors, the fire on it, all the different lines. Really, really cool jersey. All right, now a couple of Penguins jerseys. First of all, this uh, outdoor winter uh, classic jersey. Uh, it's the Reebok official licensed jersey of the Pittsburgh Penguins when they play that outdoor game. I love this with the dark blue and the light blue coloring on it. The unique throwback logo at the front with the scarf on the penguin. 
really cool jersey. Now we're getting into some of the all-stars of the NHL. So this one here, of course, one of the best players who ever played a game. A Reebok Sidney Crosby jersey that I got second hand from uh, somebody uh, in my area that was selling these jerseys. It does have the Stanley Cup Final 2016 patch on the front of it. Sid the Kid with the uh, new version of the Penguins jerseys they had in the past few years. One of my favorite jerseys in my collection, of course. One of the greatest players of all time. Alright, so next on the list we have, uh, going into the Western Conference, a Zach Parise Minnesota Wild jersey. It's got the Parise number 11. It's the official Reebok jersey of the, uh, the older version they had with the Minnesota Wild in front. Uh, all green. It does have the assistant patch on the front of it as well. It's a pretty cool uh, jersey from a player from Minnesota playing in his home state. This one here doesn't have any name on it, but uh, my dad found that one secondhand for me as well. So uh, a lot of the jerseys have got pretty cheap, so it's lucky. It's a Dallas Star, of course, a classic Dallas Star jersey. I may put like Mike Modano, or I could even put Brett Hall. So I think Modano would be a good choice to put. I could even put Bell for. We'll see uh, what I'll do in the future with this one. Alright, so this is one of my more special jerseys. It has a story behind it. The Jonathan Drouin jersey from the outdoor uh, game. The uh, 100 Centennial Classic versus the Ottawa Senator. It does have the 100 Classic uh, patch. It's in French. So uh, La Classique Saint de la LNH uh, on it. It does say um, Nos bras meurtriers vous tendent le flambeau. So the, the French slogan basically like our arms are like we're giving you the torch to follow up like the legends bring the torch to the younger players. Uh, so this one here it has like the sparkle. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle on the silver which is amazing. I love it. Um, I got this one at the Bell Center when I was watching the Montreal Canadiens. My first game it was uh, January 13th of uh, 2018. So just uh, the start of the year the past uh, season. That was the game that Philip Dano got hit with a Zidane chair slap shot in the head. He had to leave in a stretcher. Montreal ended up losing that game in a shootout. The um, atmosphere was incredible unlike anything I've ever left before. Pacioretty scored the first goal of the game pretty much right in front of us over a section that was incredible how loud that place is. Planning on going again very soon. Here is another jersey of one of the league's best players of course. Connor McDavid. Uh, becoming quickly the best player in the league over Sidney Crosby. So we got a 97. McDavid has a center, pa uh, center. Captain Patch in front. Uh, the new Edmonton Oilers colors, which I absolutely love how flashy this one is. Really, really cool jersey to have Connor McDavid. Can't wait to see how many points he's going to put up this year. Is he going to have another 100 point season? I do believe so. Let's see if we can get if we can get the Edmonton Oilers in the playoffs. All right, down to a few more. So this one here I had as a gift from my parents for a Christmas a few years ago. Tomish Placanic, uh, RBK Reebok jersey does have the 100th anniversary patch, 1909 to 2009 on the shoulder. So uh, Placanic, of course, went to Toronto last year. He is back in Montreal. If you look at his aspect of Face-offs, penalty killing, doing the little things right is the leadership he brings to the team. I find that he is really more important than a lot of people think. Glad to have Thomas Blakanik back. And now we only have two more left. So I'm going to go in this way, my most recent jersey. I only bought this one a few weeks ago. I had a good deal on it. Still has a price tag on it. I got this one um, about 100 bucks. A Reebok Nathan McKinnon Colorado jersey. Of course, with Adidas coming into uh, the NHL, these Reebok jerseys are becoming uh, a lot cheaper. This is still an official McKinnon jersey. So, got McKinnon and Crosby, the two Cole Harbor boys. Got both jerseys of them. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite NHL player and my favorite jersey, Carey Price of the Montreal Canadiens. I was able to get this one secondhand, and I do believe it was from the same guy that sold that Crosby one, if I'm not mistaken. It's a, uh, of course, authentic official Reebok jersey. So, Carey Price, it actually has like the fighting strap underneath it. So, you see right there, it's a full size Price jersey. So, of course, my favorite jersey and my favorite player from my favorite team. Hoping he can bounce back with a great. 18-19 season. Uh, he had uh, a lot of injuries in the past few years, had illness at the start of last year. So with a healthy price, willing to uh, play 
a uh, majority of the games and playing like his resident of form, which I hope he will. Hopefully he can bring the house back in the playoffs. But this is my jersey collection, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, let me know in the comments what you have. If you have any cool jerseys, any autographs, uh, any player names on the back. Like, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Have a great day.